Hey there guys, Nafis here and today I'm going to show you what you could call a prequel to uh, my tutorial of flood response mapping that I did some time ago. So without further ado, let's jump in. So first we are going to our browser and search for modis subsets in Google. And we are going to uh, go to this address of modis subsets in Earth Data NASA. Here we will go to USDA Foreign Agricultural Services. Uh, net is not fast enough. We will go to Fast Bangladesh here. So here we get a number of um, images here to, to download from. So I have uh, checked all these dates and uh, the date I'm going to go to download the post disaster, I mean the after flood scenario or the during flood scenario is uh, August 25th. So let's go to August 25th here. Now uh, we will uh, download the highest resolution uh, image that is uh, the 250 meter and we will uh, take the satellite of Aqua. Um, Aqua Modis, this is. Uh, so let's download this one and okay I already have these two um, these images downloaded so we need this image for a post disaster uh, scenario and we will go to another month for the pre disaster the pre flood scenario uh, to identify just uh, the river channels so for that we will go to March and select March 16 I have actually um, tried out a number of images from here and so I uh, know which images we are actually good enough uh, in this time so uh, we will select this one the uh, 250 meter resolution of um, uh, 16th March of 2017 and okay we will download these two images from here uh, let's see we will go uh, click the 250 meter resolution and then download the GOTIF uh, file um, for the 250 meter resolution okay so I have already downloaded this data and as you can see that I have five images here the two images that I said uh, the um, 16th March one is this one and the 25th August is this one as you can see the other images have a big number of cloud cover here and uh, so these are not that much usable so uh, let's open both of these files images in um, ArcGIS, ArcMap actually. So I'm going to open the 075 and 237, these two here, and calculate the pyramid for them. Um, so after that I've uh, opened these two images, uh, let's go to its uh, properties and select stretched here in the symbology tra uh, tab and here we select band 2 and uh, uh, change the type to person flip the minimum has to be 2 and the maximum has to also be 2 and click apply so uh, as you can see it has turned to black and white and the river channels are identifiable uh, in black um, so let's change this one to go to properties and stretched then select band 2 person clip and click apply or okay <coughs> okay so these two images are now in stretch um, symbology now go to special analyst and then map algebra calculate uh, raster calculator click on this one which is the pre flood image and then uh, select the uh, okay uh, select the output raster folder and click okay So this will calculate uh, the image into a classifiable uh, um, raster file. And this is what comes here uh, from the raster calculator. So we will do this for the, the second one too. And select this one and do the same. So I am uh, just outputting uh, both of these images in the um, my default uh, folder folder because I don't need them uh, after that but you can save them in another 
another folder for further uh, if you want to save them or do anything else uh, so these two are the images the pre-disaster and the post-disaster ones so number three is let's, uh, let's name it um, pre-flood and this one is post-flood okay so uh, let's classify them so what we'll do we'll go to here and uh, select classified classify them uh, click 2 and we'll uh, enter a value for water and the rest will be classified as uh, land or cloud cover because uh, others actually so let's give it the value of 50 and see how it goes uh, click apply Um, so the water seems to be much more than what it actually is as you can see these places these areas uh, they are more uh, than um, what we actually expect so go to classify again and select a value of um, let's see 35 uh, click apply so it's quite good enough I think still it's a bit too much so classify it and select 30 so this process that I'm using is called thresholding uh, it's uh, actually I'm selecting the threshold to uh, the classify the water or uh, land use mm, actually I'm uh, doing a kind of image classification so do the same for the pre-flood scenario and select go, uh, classified and go to classify then change it to two and, uh, actually I'm using two classes because I just need uh, water to uh, be different from the other part so select something like 50 again and it will give you the river channels hopefully so um, let's open this one and this one so as you can see that the river channels are okay not much identifiable I think I need something better let's select um, 45 click apply and do okay so these areas, uh, they're a little depressions and they're also classified as water bodies, you see, and uh, well, you can see this is the river channel. Well, I needed something a bit better than that. So let's go for 50. It doesn't do much difference, but okay, let's work with this one. So the pre-flood and the post-flood, uh, these are the two areas. So next what I'll do, I'll go to raster calculator and select, uh, write a condition actually. So I'll do um, post flood less than equals to, what did I select? Uh, so maybe I applied 30, I can see I applied 30. So I'll uh, just write 30 here and press OK. So it will classify uh, the same thing as zero is anything other than water and one is the values of where um, there are water bodies present also let's do the same for uh, the pre-disaster image let's select pre-flood and do the same with the value of 50 okay uh, it depends on your choice and how precise you want to be that you want to classify these areas um, well you can actually see the boundary of uh, the megalias here this is the boundary i mean this is the chirapunji here okay uh, that's another thing and this is the uh, chamuna or the brahmaputra river here and this is the padda river and this is the padda where uh, jamuna and padda has already mixed together here and uh, this is the meghna and they flow uh, they flow into the uh, bay of bengal with uh, this is uh, likely to be barishal and um, okay so next what I'll do, I'll go to raster calculator again and uh, write a um, condition. So let's write condition, okay, if uh, pre-disaster, pre-flood scenario is 
equals to um, one then apply two otherwise uh, select sorry I didn't select the right raster I think I should select this is the pre flood so I should select raster calc 8 which is the pre flood here and raster calc 8 here and uh, 7 here so what it means that the uh, where the pre flood uh, values are 1 then uh, put 2 in those places and other uh, in other places just use the raster calc uh, 7 or the post flood values this will actually uh, differentiate the river channel from the flooded areas so just uh, click ok so in the next raster we will see three values so this part the uh, this one let's give it the gray color 10 percent gray um, let's give the flooded part red okay and let's give the blue part green so the green things here they are the pre-flood water the red here are the post-flood water and the gray part is anything other than water so what I'll do here um, next thing I want to do is uh, go to um, somewhere like generalization and click majority filter here so I'll input the raster calc 9 the uh, recent uh, file that I got and uh, do a majority filter here uh, one thing I want to say uh, to all of you is that I'm not changing the output raster uh, folder because I've already done it and uh, I just uh, am doing it for the tutorial so uh, click OK and next we'll get another folder here and this one is actually a bit more uh, filtered and uh, many of the smaller clusters of uh, shape uh, values actually uh, they are um, actually matched together or uh, classi reclassified actually and uh, next what we'll do we'll go to the conversion tool and select from raster uh, to polygon raster to polygon and here we will give the majority raster here and okay all the same simplify the polygons here and click ok so what it will do is uh, it will give all uh, these uh, rasters and the raster points uh, specific shapes so these are the raster points as you can see uh, if we go into its uh, attribute table we will see a number of shape files actually um, 37,878 so here we, uh, we will go to its um, attributes and go to grid code and get unique values actually and here uh, 0 means the um, shape files where the flood hasn't occurred or uh, not actually uh, actually they are anything but the water uh, bodies the one is uh, one is actually the shape files which are uh, post flood I mean uh, they are the flooded areas and two are the river channels so let's select the one and click apply so it will select the um, shape files that are uh, seen as flooded areas The rest of the part of uh, this tutorial is actually done um, in the previous video, so you can watch it uh, after this one if you wish. So give a thumbs up if you like this video, or uh, thumbs down if you didn't, and well, subscribe, it will help me a lot, and goodbye, I think, um, wish me luck.